Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening, everybody. Welcome back to Tarek Time Season 3. In the last episode, we worked on this fantastic little tower over on top of our skeleton spawner. And I gotta say, I still love how this turned out. And you might be able to tell that I have spent a lot of time here as the copper has now almost completely oxidized. And uh, it's, it's been very, very lucrative. I've been getting a lot of uh, good resources out of here. A lot of resources. I got a full double chest of bones. Plus my pockets are almost full. And more arrows than I know what to do with. And more bows that I know what to do with. Uh, th th these are the ones that are... The enchants are just a little bit useful. You know, I got an infinity and an infinity, flame, unbreaking power three, decent, another infinity, and another infinity. So, like, I really don't have to worry about that for a while, which makes me wonder why I saved an entire chest full of arrows, but uh, that's okay. But, uh, yeah, these this has been very lucrative, and I'm going to leave because I am... I really enjoy hanging out here right now, so... We're gonna head back up to the top, and hi Nemo. Up at the top here, I do want to work on this area a little bit. Not a lot, just, just just a little bit. Kind of start building some platforms to kind of start help me figure out what I want to do. And I, I did get a lot of absolutely amazing suggestions in the comments, so thank you so very much for dropping those. I truly do appreciate them, and I will be incorporating a good handful of them. Because y'all y'all are just so creative, I love it, so thank you. But for today, it's mostly going to be platforms, because I need to kind of figure out the space that I have to work with. So, incorporating some of the copper and stripped birch kind of look. Continuing to bring that over here a little bit, but and changing it at the same time, because we're in a little bit of a badland. So, it should look a little bit different, i.e. the tower looks a little bit different. But we still have that stripped birch in the middle with the bands of copper to kind of give it some unity. and then. I'm going to try to build a diagonal bridge from here to there. So when you're kind of in the water, there's just like this big rope bridge kind of going all the way across. I don't know how that's going to work out, but that's not going to be today. But that that's the plan. So step one is platforms. But because I like to squirrel, did you folks know this? When you're in a coral reef, I came down here to bone meal the ground a little bit and just kind of give it some seagrass because I thought that would be nice. Did you know this? You, you can grow coral by bone mealing the seafloor in a coral reef. Also, the wall works as well. See? What? I did not know this. And I heard a puffer fish. Don't poison me, please. Fine, I'll leave. That's your hood. I will go get my stuff. And we're going to start working on a couple of little platforms up there. It's just kind of thinking, if I get a platform there and that bridge built all the way across, I could, in theory, make a road that ran all along the ridge back over to this area. Hmm. Not, not, a, not a bad idea. And then, can always do something up in the jungle here. Maybe, maybe, maybe this is where we finally build a little, uh, little bee farm. You know, kind of into the into the jungle a little bit, so the bees are all in the luscious greenness stuff. Stuff. Yes. My thoughts are uh, having multiple layers. So I'm going to have kind of like a, a top deck and a lower deck. Kind of kind of about her. I know where that white terracotta is to be able to build the bridge over there. Because if I have this platform going all the way out, I don't know, down to the red sand, that's a really tall, skinny little column holding that up. So that would be a little tricky to kind of make look secure, shall we say. So um, I will need some dark oak slabs to start because we're going with a little bit of a darker uh, deck this time. Oh, inventory issues. Um, all right, if I start... By making a full block out of slabs instead of using just slabs, that would be great. But, I, I, my goodness, if I kind of just work my way out this away, I think I want to go fairly close to the edge because it does give us the option to build, you know, something like another crane here. Say they're pulling some resources out of the badlands or the jungle or 
I don't know. And then we can build another little dock down there. Oh, options. Fun stuff. I think this is this is actually the block I want to be on. Ow. Um, not that, that. Okay. What I'm thinking is I'm going to work on kind of getting the perimeter in. This is too long of a stretch. We'll have to add another kind of support column in the middle. But I want to kind of just work on getting the perimeter in. And then we can kind of go back around and make it look a little more sturdy, shall we say. With It, it, it may even involve, you know, an extra post in the middle here or... Yeah, I don't know. We'll have to kind of see, see where things land. I think... From about here, this is this is going to be a pretty tall post already, so by kind of just messing around a little bit, I've come up with the kind of plan to having six spaces in between the columns, just with, with the height here, let me free camera this a little bit, with the height of it, it does need a little bit of extra support, and I'm probably going to have to beef the bottom up here as well, not 100% sure how yet, but... So far, I think that's going to be working good. And we'll put a little bit of copper at the bottom of the posts, that kind of thing as well. But now I need to start working out where I'm going to be coming out down on the bottom layer and where I'm going to have uh, overlap. And then with that overlap, we could potentially have, you know, from, from that white terracotta up to this height, that does give us enough room that we could actually almost have, not hobbit holes per se, but hobbit hole-esque market stalls kind of going along the edge of the mountain where they're kind of, you know, burrowed in a little bit or just kind of underneath the overhang of the top platform to the lower overhang. So we can kind of make a little bustling, quote-unquote, village or, you know, harbor area here, which I think that might be that might be kind of fun. So a little bit of a longer longer term project, but it's always fun to kind of start coming up with ideas of what, what we could build just for the sake of well, building because sometimes building just needs to be for fun and not necessarily functional so it, it really can change how things start to kind of work in work in my brain at least so let me keep working on some of these platforms and hi um i'm sorry you're on fire but i'm not gonna do anything about that For the section going over yonder, I'm thinking I want to, well, not have what it's so straight and rigid over like this section over here, um, and then kind of try and do a little bit of a curve, but I am struggling a wee bit, if you couldn't tell, to try and get a curve that, well, now this is just kind of straight lined on a curve, but we can, I'm going to continue to play with this. I think I'm I'm getting somewhere with just kind of some some shape here. So I'm gonna keep playing with this and actually I'm gonna light this up down here a little bit so I don't create a mob farm. Okay, I think I have a a decent little curve kind of swinging around. So I, this looks pretty good to me now. So now I just need to get some supports in and then Probably fill some of the top in here and work a little bit more on a lower platform as well. Definitely not going to get to the bridge today because this is this is not the main project of the episode. I have something else in mind, which I think you're going to like. But I did want to get a little bit of a head start on this so I can, well, start coming up with some ideas and brainstorming. It's just my brain works happier when it has kind of a blank canvas to work from to be able to kind of start working on buildings in my mind. So let's let's keep working on this a little bit and then we'll go from there. Excuse me. Um, I'm just trying to build in peace here and you are being very destructive. Mm-hmm. Alrighty. I have gotten the boring little part of doing all of the block placing. So now I have two great little platforms kicking off here and i really like how this is starting to look the the really good contrast with the stripped birch the dark oak planks to really kind of give it a pop on the kind of orangey background there and i'm starting to think that you know with the the mesas as much as they're kind of well for lack of a better word kind of blah looking you know the, the leaves don't look very great and whatnot but 
to an extent, they are still very colorful. So I'm trying to take inspiration from some of these reds and yellows for when I'm kind of thinking about, you know, what could I, what could I build in here? And I keep coming back to the concept that was suggested several times in the comments is, is a little market. So maybe coming up with, you know, little market stalls with some bright colored wool colors, just kind of making everything really pop and be super vibrant. I think this is going to be a really cool little area. So the one the only other thing that I still want to do today is I want to work in just a little bit of the planks into the ground here. So not a not a ton, but have it kind of blend a little bit more just so it's not quite so harsh in places. And I feel like this would be just a little bit more realistic with having a little bit of kind of the planks kind of go back a little bit just to make sure they even out the ground, whatever the case may be. So I'm gonna use this kind of natural divot here, kind of clean this a little bit of this overhang up a little bit, but then we're gonna use this to be a staircase to kind of go from the top to the bottom as well. So that should work out pretty decently if I can, oopsies kind of play off the natural generation a little bit. So hopefully this this works out. Hi, Um. no, I'm not interested in playing today. Thank you, I, I have work to do. I really like how this is starting. It, it's, it's, got, it's got a good shape to it. It's got some good support to it. it. I really like it. I really, really like it. Now it's got me, it's given me lots to think about. I can kind of work on having a little market up there. I can maybe build another type of crane up there. Hello, dolphin. And then the bridge coming all the way over to here so we can have some type of little, not not like a tower like that one over there, but like more like a kind of a bridge comes over to like a big and bigger wooden support column and then kind of have another little bridge kind of coming over to the land here. And then we can start working on migrating a little bit more towards home again, which this is this is this is exciting. I'm I'm excited, but uh, I I have another plan that I intended on doing to this episode, and then got completely distracted. Distracted. My apologies. So um, me and my new friend are gonna head home, and we're gonna work on that project over. Oh, oh it's a party. It's a party. So over here at the docks, I have totally been putting this off because well i want to build a ship here but if you watch my other series channel 64 i i built a mega ship very recently um and ships are not my strong suit by any means so i kind of was thinking well what, what can i do to kind of get over this little hurdle and you know what i found it it's right there I'm going to take a Minecraft ship, well, that Minecraft ship, hopefully, and we're going to, what is it called when you take a ship off the bottom of the ocean floor and make it usable again? We're going to do that. So I've got a couple of chests here I'm going to plunk down, and then I am going to collect all the materials from that ship, throw in a handful of the Taric Time splash of color, and we're going to build ourselves a ship. Sounds good. That was a, that was an awkward pause. My apologies. I'm going to go collect a ship. I don't have aqua affinity. I'm going to go do a whole bunch of enchanting until I do. That surprisingly did not take very long at all. I was at, what, 85? So nine, nine levels to get aqua affinity. Perfect. Okay. Now that I have aqua affinity, I'm going to transition over to a little time lapse of tearing down a ship and building a ship, and I hope y'all enjoy.
And what did you folks think about that time lapse? I tried a new little method that uh, the amazing P Porp taught me, and I feel like that is the smoothest time lapse I have ever made. And if you know what I'm talking about, go back and look at it again. It's just, oh, it's so good. It made me so happy. <laughs> um, but what do y'all think? I, I have salvaged, I think the technical term is I have salvaged the ship. But the term I want to use is unscuttled, because it's more fun to say. <laughs> so un I have successfully unscuttled the ship, and I have thrown my own little twist on it. So added a couple of details, some uh, unconnected fences. That That's for all y'all in the comment section. You're welcome. And a couple other little fun details, like the, the sails all being kind of bunched up towards the top, because while well, the ship is, the, the, it's docked at the harbor, the sails shouldn't be down and flapping around, so I really like how this all turned out, and then I've even got a, just a little bit of decoration in the hold, some kind of storage, and you know, a little locked up area for some, some valuables that are maybe being transported, and some water leaking through, but you know, that's, that's normal for a hull, that's fine. And then I've even gone ahead and decorated the dock. This is something that a lot of you have been asking for for quite some time. So we've got the crane up above, kind of just grabbing a log. So I've got a couple of logs here already. Now I've got, I'm, I'm future planning right now. The, these logs do not go on this ship. There is going to be more like a... a is it a raft? A barge? A barge. A barge is the one I'm looking for. So we're going to build a barge here in the future, and it is going to have a mini crane, and it's going to be taking the logs off the dock, just because I can, because why not? One day. Don't, don't get your hopes up for next episode, but one day. But then I just kind of have some storage and um, these little carts. I, I really like how these little carts work. So there's just a hopper going into a fence gate with an oak trap door, and it just looks like a little a little bin cart, because it, it, well, it actually has a little bin. It's kind of cool. And then just some chests, some note blocks, some barrels, and then another little fun detail is the cartography table. Using it for a desk because, well, it it, it has paper and a little map on it, and it just fit the setting so well. And also, um, the unconnected fences. Sorry, I, I, just, I just have to, so. Um, but I think that's going to have to wrap up this episode, folks. Thank you so very much for sharing your time with me today. I truly do appreciate it. Thank you for all the countless wonderful comments and subs and likes and support. I truly do appreciate y'all. It means so very much to me. So thank you. And until next time, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, and good night.